What's up, YouTube? Pixelvain here, coming to you again for my third ever vlog. Can't believe I'm making another one because it's only been like three days. I'm like putting out one a day. It's way too much. I'm totally gonna burn myself out on this. Uh, oh well. Um, hopefully these are getting better in quality. Um, I'm getting more used to talking to the little webcam right there. And hopefully I'm projecting all right and it's all framed okay. My setup here is ridiculous. I have like this podium and then I have like a Pelican Donkey Konga box that my webcam sitting up on there and my Blue Yeti's right there. It's just so weird. I don't know. I just, I didn't want to like have it webcam facing me like to the back side of my room, but rather my awesome collections of knickknacks, gashapon, and trading figures, which you probably can't even make out. But there's, I don't know, there's some Monster Hunter ones, there's some Pokemon ones, there's some, some Figma figures from Persona and stuff like that. But whatever, I have honestly no idea what I'm going to be talking about in this vlog. I probably should write scripts or something with an idea of what I'm going to say. I guess I kind of have an idea. I want to like quasi-review the new Ace Attorney game. Um, yeah, new Ace Attorney game, Ace Attorney 5. Amazing! The humor from the previous games is still there. It's got the same mechanics. Oh my god, it's in 3D. Ah, it's so good, oh my gosh. There's plenty of step ladders in there for those of you who know about the stupid ongoing joke about ladders versus step ladders. There's a lot of references to previous games. It's so much fun. Oh my goodness. Um, I guess I could like start reviewing things on this channel. Um, the way I think I'm going to review them are going to be like, don't buy it, uh, maybe buy it, or really buy it. Just basically thumbs down, thumbs up, or eh. So... In short, though, for Ace Attorney 5, I will wholeheartedly recommend it to any of you guys out there with a 3DS wanting to get it. Um, but I will warn you, it's not really a game. It's more like a visual novel with some interactive choices that you make. Sure, you'll, you'll object, you'll present evidence to, a contra uh, to uh, contradictions and stuff. And sometimes you'll like look around crime scenes like trying to get information. Like, kind of like point and click wise. Um, but it's more of just the story that you're taking part in. So, if you're gonna buy it and expecting like this amazing like gameplay, there really isn't. It's like I said, a visual novel, a crime visual novel. And like, there's different chapters with their own like specific sequestered story with some overarching elements to the grand greater story. So, there's different chapters. Um, I'm only like halfway through the game I would assume based like if it's like the same length uh, compared to other games with chapter wise um the only thing I'm really disappointed in you play you play Phoenix Wright for the tutorial mission explaining the basics of the game except for like crime scene investigation and then you just play Apollo Athena and then Apl Apollo again um I'm assuming that the last mission or last two missions because typically they're intertwined um, that's where, like, the main story comes to a, a culmination. Like, everything just comes together for the final, like, few chapters. I'm assuming you'll play Phoenix for those. Um, because Phoenix Wright, he's my favorite character of the series. Although, my second favorite character, Gumshoe, doesn't appear to be in this game. Gumshoe's my hero, man. He lives off ramen. He's a poor little detective. I bought, an, like, a, an army surplus overcoat, a green one. So that I could make a gumshoe outfit. Oh my god. Like cosplay is gumshoe. I just love gumshoe so much. But it doesn't seem like he's in it. So while my heart dies. However. I think I have a new favorite second character in the series. Simon Blackwell. Is an amazing character. I don't think any, everyone will like him. But I really do like his cliche-ness. Like ooh I'm a samurai. And clearly obviously if you played other games. He's probably been like, I don't know, framed. He like even hints at being framed or someone he knew being framed. So I don't think he's really a bad guy. So yeah. Anyway, I wholeheartedly recommend those of you out there who like reading, cause that's basically what the game is, reading with some like little pictures going on in the background to get Ace Attorney. It's only 30 bucks. It sucks though that the American release is only digital. And it sucks if you ever misplace or lose your 3DS, you can't download it on another 3DS. That really sucks. I guess I'll just get a Japanese cart for my collection of Ace Attorney games. 
But with, that's pretty much it, I guess, what I'm going to cover today. I'll probably make another uh, vlog tomorrow, because I'm going crazy, apparently, making so many of these that I'll burn myself out. But, you know, the more videos I make, the better chance that I'll, like, have someone see it and be like, oh, this guy is mildly entertaining, kind of insane the way he acts and talks. He's got weird, stupid voices. voices. I don't know. I make these videos for myself, true, but I'm also making them for you guys out there. Whoever... Whoever and whenever I get people to watch me. Whatever. Stop being a clown right now. Peace.